Not at the time. Um, I was really focused on the event itself and just trying not to, to let any you know distractions creep in. But after the event, um, you know, people were telling me that it was the first triple gold medalist from the same games from a, as a British athlete for a hundred years. And it's, it's it's crazy. It really is. It's mad. I mean, you know, these are the thing of dreams and. For it to come together at just at the right time, it was it was fantastic. Every gold medal special in the Olympics is is a unique event, and it's it's the one that everybody wants to win. It's the pinnacle of any athlete's career, and you know every time you step up on that podium, even if it's a gold, silver, bronze, doesn't matter what medal it is. It means a hell of a lot, and you know you can't put into words the feeling you get when all the hard work, all the you know, all the sacrifice, everything you've gone through, you suddenly realise it's worthwhile. And you know, you hear the national anthem, you see the flag go up, family and friends in the crowd. It's you know, it's what you always dream of. To be honest, I just enjoy the training. I enjoy what I do. Um, you know, obviously I do it because I, I want to be the best in the world. That's my my drive, my focus. But um, you know, I actually enjoy the procedure of training. I enjoy what you know, setting myself targets and, and working hard in a day. And at the end of the day, feeling I've taken a very small step towards my overall goal. And you know, it's it's not just about the winning. It is about the, the whole journey to getting there. You know, when I first rode for GB in '96, they gave us a tracksuit top to, on loan for a World Championships. You gave it back at the end of the Championships. You had your own bike. They lent you a set of wheels. You know, it was just done on a shoestring budget. And you know, from those days, when the lottery funding came on board, things became more professional. And now everybody in the team, whether you're a mechanic, a rider, a physiotherapist, whatever your job is, your aim is to be the best in the world. And we've got a, a support staff that the rest of the world are really envious of. It's a very gradual process, you know, I just I love riding my bike and I've always been a competitive person so once you start winning, once the team starts winning, it, it becomes infectious and you know, it, it's crazy to think we've got 7 out of the 10 available gold medals in the track which you, you kind of know it's possible but in, in, until you, you get up there and, and realise that, you know, this is crazy, you know, to almost win all the gold medals that are available, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, I've been trying to keep a lid on the emotions and trying to stay focused and not really... Then, you know, you can keep going as long as you, you have the motivation and personally I'm, I'm really driven for the opportunity to have a, a home Olympic Games and to win a gold medal in front of a home crowd, that, you know, that's a huge thing for me. Um, so 36 in London, no reason why I can't win another gold there. The Spanish rider Juan Linares, he won a gold medal here in the points race, he's 39. So, you know, as I say, impossible is nothing.